Hi, I'm Melania Capasso. I'm a group leader at the German Center for Neurodegenerative Diseases, or DZNE, in Bonn, Germany. My group is interested in uh, inflammatory pathways and how the immune system affects the function of the brain in aging and in neurodegeneration. So one of the risk factors for developing neurodegenerative diseases is aging. And the immune system contributes to this phenotype because it's known that immune cells become progressively a little bit more inflammatory as we age. So this is true also of the immune cells of the brain called microglia. And the study that we are now publishing in the Journal of Clinical Investigation uh, is actually entitled mTOR-dependent translation amplifies microglia priming in aging mice. So in this study, we wanted to understand why microglia cells become primed, so become more inflammatory with age. So in order to do this, we isolated microglia cells from the brains of young mice, middle-aged and old mice, and then carried out an RNA sequencing analysis. And in addition to known genes, uh, inflammatory genes that we found upregulated, we concentrated in particular on signaling pathways. So what pathways were uh, different in aged microglia compared to young ones. And we found the mTOR pathway, but more specifically pathways leading to the regulation of the synthesis of new proteins, uh, so the regulation of mRNA translation, to be not to a great extent, uh, but to be significantly upregulated. And we verified this uh, by checking the proteins that are downstream of the mTOR pathway. And indeed, we confirmed that they are upregulated. Now, the, the mTOR pathway is a, a very important signaling pathway that regulates many different functions in cells and uh, helps the cells respond to growth stimuli or loss of growth stimuli. But uh, as I said, in particular, it was the synthesis of new proteins that we found different in aged microglia. And indeed, when we looked at the production of uh, inflammatory cytokines or receptors, we found the RNA levels to be similar in young and old mice, uh, but the protein levels were increased, were upregulated uh, only in old mice. And this was not due to some defect in the degradation of the cytokines. So it's really the output that is increased in aged microglia. So in order to understand if we could prevent this extra inflammation in old microglia, we decided to use a, a genetic mouse model that, is, uh, that has an impaired mTOR uh, signaling. Um, this is a REB1 knockout, and REB1 is an upstream uh, activator of the mTOR pathway. And we crossed them with a Cree line uh, that led to the deletion of REB in uh, the immune system and in microglia cells. So what we found in the Reb uh, knockout mice, uh, that we called Reb knockout for simplicity, um, was the um, similar levels of uh, mRNA of inflammatory mediators uh, or even higher levels of mRNA. Um, but then when, uh, when it comes to the production of proteins, we could really see a defect. Um, and that meant that the cells produced lower levels of inflammatory cytokines, had lower levels of inflammatory receptors. And so overall, the mice uh, had reduced inflammation and also showed in vivo reduced uh, sickness behavior. So with the study, we could prove that um, the uh, excessive uh, inflammatory phenotype of aged microglia can be prevented by interfering with um, the synthesis of new proteins and mRNA translation. Um, and therefore now we hope we can use this knowledge to then test, can we make a difference in neurodegenerative diseases? Can we maybe prevent or ameliorate neurodegenerative diseases by interfering uh, with, this, uh, with this step? And um, we're very excited that this is what we, we can try to do next.